I call the Honourable Tohanari. Thank you, uh, Mr Chair. I, I won't be too long. Uh, so, Take your time. 58 days ago, actually. Um, Mr Chair, I wanted to get up and, and, and speak about... Uh, I wanted to speak about the, uh, some of the more disingenuous comments made um, by the, the Labour Party tonight, sir. So which one are you going to There's been a few, haven't there? There's been a few, haven't there? But more importantly, the attacks on the Minister, the, the sort of personal attacks on the Minister about, first of all, being uh, uh, on the DPB. Well, at least she's had experience. You know, at least she's had experience. Some of those people across the way, across the way, have never had any experience. Some of them straight out of school, straight into university, and straight in here. Well, where, where, did, well, where did some of the learning get? Where did they get the learning from? From the streets, from the, from the hard stories out there? No, they sort of made them up, yeah, at the universities. Well, I'm, I like to tell some of those members across the way that some of the members here, including the minister, went to the School of Hard Knocks and the University of Life, Mr Chair. And just to, be, just to get it down to some, uh, s some specifics, in the day uh, that our lovely minister was on the DPB, there was no such thing as interest-free loans for students. No such thing. Absolutely no such thing. There wasn't any child care subsidies. There were no child care subsidies in, min in the minister's day. And guess what? Even the accommodation supplement in those days, in fact it had just come in, wasn't as good as it is now, Mr Chair. So if you put all of that together, let's put all of that together. And, and I love it how the Labour Party gets up on it. I was going to say hind legs, but I better not say that. Um, I love it how they get up and they, they rattle off how, how bad it is that the Minister has taken away the training incentive, incentive allowance because she got it and these people haven't. Well... I tell you what, when the minister was on the DPB, she was getting not a few dollars less, uh, not a few dollars less, hundreds of dollars less than what they get today. A person on a DPB gets today, sir. So if you put it in those words, sir, that's the disingenuous mode and caught it all from uh, the other side, sir. I just wanted to point out, sir, that... They don't have any experience. Nine years, sir, would have, would have taught you one of two things. One, it would have said to you, if they were doing a good job, they would have got another three years. You know, they would have got another three years. But like George Gregan said, like George Gregan said, sir, i just love to say another three years we're going to have and not that side. And I tell you why. And I tell you why. It doesn't matter how sick or how under the weather Chris Carter may be feeling. He was absolutely right. I oh, know. See, that's got nothing to do with arrogance, Mr Chair. But what it has got something to do with, sir, is listening to the people in your own caucus, the ones that you throw out, the ones that you don't really want to listen to anymore. Mr. Chair. Sir, I think that they have not a leg to stand on, sir. There is no experience. There's not one of them in that Labour Party, that organisation across the way, that has any experience. Any experience. Well, at least the Minister knows her way around West Auckland. At least she knows her way around, and she wasn't parachuted. She wasn't parachuted in to West Auckland without a map, sir. At least she knows. At least she knows where to go, sir. At least she knows her way around. And she wasn't parachuted into that electorate, sir. She won it fair and square.
She won it fair and square.